It is literally the first thing I, I drink. It's hard for, um, I've noticed just in my friendship group when I've talked about creatine, it's sometimes hard to convince women to take creatine because there's a sort of prevailing stereotype that it makes you large. Yeah, yeah, I wish. Because um, then I'd be jacked. No, no, it doesn't. In fact, I think you could make the case that a woman, relevant to the cognitive as aspects of it, should be focused on it more than men. So there are few chronic diseases that women suffer from more than men, and Alzheimer's disease is one of them. So this is a disease that will affect women almost double or even triple the rate of it affecting men. Insofar as the latest evidence shows that at higher doses, creatine helps with cognition, I think every woman, middle-aged and beyond, should be taking creatine daily. And indeed, on the higher end of that dose, because that's the dose you need to help your brain. And I read from one particular study, I think that you talked about this on your YouTube channel, that creatine increases strength by up to 10% and power output by up to 15% mm -hmm. and reduces muscle damage by 20 to 40% after intense exercise. 